Hi, today let's go over reading and writing to files in C using the standard library. So all you need is stdio.h, which is what we usually use for scanf and printf. So I have this test file that I want to read. It has an integer and then it has some string. So I want to read that in this program and I want to output it to the terminal. And then later I also want to write it to a different file. So first let's go over reading. So before we can read a file, of course, we have to get the file. So to get the file, we type a file with a star. This is a file pointer. This is a variable that points to a file. So since it's a file pointer, we usually call these FP, but you can call whatever you want. So we call F open. This is our method. And we'll just, this takes two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the file and also the file path to. And the second one is the mode that we're in. So we're in reading mode. So specify an R like that. Now we also want to check that F open worked. So if F open didn't work, it will return null. If it returns null, null is essentially zero typecasted to a void pointer. So we could just say if not FP, then printf error could not open file. Exiting like that and then return zero. Or we could return one if we want to. So if we exit this, this if statement, that means the file is all good. It's opened up. We're all good to go. So let's, let's open it. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, why do I have scanf here? I want to read the file. As you know, scanf will, will read from the terminal. Well, fscanf is another method that's almost exactly the same. So fscanf, you add an f in front of scanf, and then right at the beginning, you put the fp there, the file pointer. And that, that's literally it. That's how easy it is. So for, for this one, same kind of thing. We, we add an F and then we put FP. Then of course, to um, close, we want to, we can use F close for FP. However, this will return a value. This returns an integer. If it works, then it'll return zero. If it doesn't work, it'll return something like negative one. So we could do, we could do something like this if we want to. And then we could say error could not close the file exiting this is just for safety and then return one like that alrighty now we should have read the file let's see what happens when we run it bam we get no errors and as you see there's the string and there's the uh one two three four five that's the integer so we successfully read values from the file into our variables and now let's write them to the next file so Again, we can create we can create a new uh, file pointer. Let's call it fp2, and we'll just say now we'll let you let's use file write test dot text, and for our mode, um, of course we're in writing mode, so let's type a w for write. Now, as you notice in here, I don't have a file write test, but that's okay because it'll create it if it doesn't exist. So now you're also wondering, maybe I wanted to print it. Does this have any special thing, any purpose to our program? Well, yes, it does. Because there's also similarly fprintf. You add f and then you add the, the file pointer, file pointer two. And bam, that's all you have to do. So I can delete the, the printf statement. And similarly, I can close it the same way. fp2, like that. Now let's see what happens when we run it. Let's focus over here. Ooh, a new file was created with our text, which is exactly what we wanted. Now let's see what happens if I run it again. Hmm, nothing happens. Well, what if I change it like that? Oh, it changes back. As you see, it overwrites the content. But what if I don't want to overwrite the file? What if I just want to append to it or add stuff to it? Well, I could just replace this with an A. And when I do that, look what happens. As I keep running it, it just adds the, the output to the file. But then if I change it back to W again, watch what happens. It completely overwrites the entire file. So be careful with that. If you want to append, then you just type A. If you want to write, then you type W. 
And one last thing I want to mention about um, fscanf and printf2 is every time you call it, it moves the cursor. So when you create the file with f open and let's say read, right at the beginning of file read test, the cursor of the file pointer is right at the beginning. When I call fscanf to scan this integer, the cursor is now at the end because it just read the integer. So now I can read the string. So it won't keep resetting back to the beginning. And similarly for write, same kind of thing. The cursor starts at the beginning and then it, and then it moves forward as you write. Append starts at the end, which is how it, it's able to add data to it. So I just thought I would give that detail. And that's a basic little conclusion, little introduction to, um, to file input and output using the standard library. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.